guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make cinnamon bread. I'm gonna link the recipe in the description. And, um, but I get it off the Dollywood website. It's like the Coffee Cab Dollywood cinnamon bread. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, the recipe recommends on their website that you use, like, get the frozen bread and set it out and let it rise. I'm going to link my recipe for my bread in the description. That's what I've used. I doubled the recipe because I'm making some for some people. So, um, yeah, I got three good loaves out of that. And then you're going to get one stick of butter, melted butter in a pan. And then you're going to get one cup of sugar and three tablespoons of cinnamon. And you're going to mix it up. Now, if you're just doing one loaf, you can just look on their website and it, it will show you the exact amount for one loaf. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your bread. It's already rose and I um, kneaded it. So I'm gonna do four slits. And you're gonna go all the way to your almost to the bottom. And I'm gonna put four slits. I have been putting three, but I don't think it's enough slits. So I'm gonna put four slits. I've made this a few times. And you're just going to take it over here and you're going to put it in your butter. And you're going to coat it. And then you're going to take it over here to your cinnamon. Make sure you get all your everything covered. Okay, then you're gonna get your pan. Wop it in there. And get that in like that. I might have to get some more sugar and cinnamon. And you're going to set that there and I'm going to continue to do the other two and we're going to let them rise and I'll show you and I'm going to get these cut put them in the pan and let them rise and I'll show you what they look like when they rise and then we'll stick them in the oven so loaves are going to look like. I don't know how. I think there should have been another level of the hump. I did one, two, three, four, five, six sections. One, two. I come out with five on these. But anyway, it's still going to be good. Um, 
that's what they're gonna look like. This one, look, I need to get more metal pans. I have this one, this is, but I have to put it on here because if it don't, it'll fall, but. Okay, we're gonna stick these in the oven for 350, and I don't know how, because I go by look, but we will time it to see how long you stick it in there. So, we'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. I timed it, and it was between 30 and 40 minutes. Okay, this one's not pretty because this was in my pan, my silicone pan, and it just kind of, but, now look, it is so good. I mean, Emma's been eating on it. But anyway, these are my other two pans, and I kind of got them cool, and I flipped this one back over, and you're just going to get your icing, which is um, powdered sugar and water, and you can find that. We'll post that. It's I got the... Um, video on that on my cinnamon roll video so y'all can go over and look at that but I'm just gonna sprinkle not sprinkle what do you call this drizzle there you go drizzle as much as you want and you get a little cup, and what I do is like when I take a, take a section off, I get my icing and I just drizzle it on the section. It's like super, super fluffy. But anyway, that's how you make cinnamon bread. And uh, hold on, we'll be right back. We have something to show you. What? Okay guys, this is what we have to show you. We have a new family member, and it's not Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Maria. Say hey, Maria. We got her yesterday in Texas, and um, she's seven and a half weeks old, and we just love her to death. I, I mostly Addie. She sat up all night, taking her to the potty and stuff, and slept on the floor with her. And but she is so oh, she's sleepy. Okay. Y'all make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later.